That's Mike Brown right there. All right, we're here with the head coach of American Top Team, Mike Brown, also a former WEC featherweight champion. You're like a co-head coach, right? There's a there's a no, few no, of you, right? Uh, or, well, or there's is a head, your distinction. No, Conan Silvera is Conan's the, the head. he's right. the head coach. Right. I'm one of the uh, MMA coaches, I guess, at American. You Top seem to be the one that travels the most. I don't, I don't have a, f a fancy title, but uh, you seem, I'm you in seem there. to be the one that be the one that logs the most miles. Dude, we're all we're, there's a lot of us. We're we're always running and gunning, but uh, you get first we're class by now after all these oh, years, man. Really, coach? Coach is rarely, a coach? rarely do I get it. I mean, like I, I got all the frequent flyer miles, but it's like I'm the lowest level on each one of them. You know, give always different a, airlines. Give me a traveling pet peeve, coach. Like, I mean, not the crying baby, not the basic stuff, but is there is there something else uh, that gets on your nerves? Dude, honestly, I, I'm good. I sleep anywhere, man. I sleep on any plane, anywhere, anytime. I'm, it's not too bad for me. But uh, you good with turbulence? No, no stories. No, there? no, no, I don't like. No, obviously turbulence freak me out. No, right, no, right. Nobody likes turbulence. But honestly, I'm a pretty good traveler, man. I, I, I can sleep anywhere. So. All right, you're in Vegas. Yeah. Uh, is Vegas got any special meaning for you? I know a lot of WEC went down here, and obviously in your coaching career. What's Vegas mean to you, by the way? Uh, it's fight capital of the world, man. Right, right? right. This is where all the major fights are. This is where the, you know, the biggest uh, MMA fights have been, and uh, past and future. Right. My first UFC fight ever was here at Mandalay Bay. Um, you know, this is it. This is the fight capital. Across the street, they're building a seventy thousand uh, seat stadium. We feel like that's going to be the one that eventually breaks all the records. Who do you think is the perfect fight for what for it's next July is when that stadium opens. So kind of put on your radar, your forecasting hat. Who do you think would be a great main event in that stadium? Wow. Shit, I don't know. Don't leave us hanging, Could coach. Be, uh, you got like a hundred fighters on your on your own, so uh, let's feel go. free to throw one of those. Hey, how in. about Jorge Masvidal and Colby Covington? We'll put, oh! we'll put two of our guys there. Wait a minute. How about that? You're, I never thought I'd hear an American top team coach. Is, the, is, the, is it going there, coach? No, I mean, like, theoretically, it could happen. You yeah, know, I'm just right. saying, the two guys from the same team. Uh, we don't, the, the guys only fight for a belt, you know, so that's a good problem to have if, if you have uh, have that problem, right? But it, it it looks like they're both getting close to that to that point. Has it been handled? Colby, Poye, and Masvidal, it seemed like everybody was mad at everybody. Have you guys already handled that in terms of, you know, the interaction? Like, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, Dan, Dan Lambert, is, uh, you know, is the guys, you know, uh, coordinating things and smoothing things over. And, uh, yeah, it's been peaceful at the gym as of late, yeah.